Hello, all. let's get this started. Now, uh, me and GP are going to discuss about this NIRF ranking. And when the NIRF ranking came about, me and, me and GP were discussing as to uh, how, how we should be presented. So one was, of course, to have a knee-jerk reaction and so pura gali deke, kya hai hai, and, and uh, hurt that my college, I am Calcutta, is one step below GP's college, which is I am Bangalore, <laughs> that we could all do all that. Then, <laughs> then we thought that it's, it's, let's, let's uh, dig a little deeper. Let's get, get some more data. Uh, so what we're going to do is not just about giving this ranking. We'll also make some slot. Uh, so there are various parameters. We'll also get each parameter. and also give you different kind of ranking that you'll see at the end. Uh, GP, before we start, you have any tips? If you look at this NIF ranking started in 2016, and I find people cribbing that NIF ranking is wrong, that is wrong. Every year, I have the same answer. Which is, kya, do you know what this ranking is for? Purpose kya is ka, samajhte ho. It, and, and the unfortunate thing is, people don't go deep. Samajhte nahi hai ki ye kyun hai ranking, iska purpose kya hai, what are the parameters. They only say, nahi, mere his haap se, this should be the ranking. Great. But your criteria is different from the, possibly different from the criteria which has been used by NIRF. So, so my, my, always the issue is, before you jump, and that is why, Jijo, you and me said, kya, jaldi nahi karenge. We will go deeper. Even though we had a broad idea of why NIF ranking is what it is and why is it different from the other rankings. But still, we said we should go deeper, get all the data and facts, and then take it forward. So, let's see what is in the I'm sure the Shalom. students will be surprised. <laughs> yeah, so yeah, this is the ranking. And the immediate thing that you can, can look at, how, how, is, how is this there? IIT Delhi. Better than uh, XLRI. How is that possible? Uh, what is what is this college doing? Amrita Vishwa Vishwa Vidya Pitam. There are I, I don't see F, FMS. I don't see FMS here. But where is Bajaj? Uh, okay. So so all these are the thoughts that is happening. So so we'll we'll at this point in time let's not uh, discuss about this ranking now. We will do three things. We'll start by the story behind the ranking, and it's important for us to understand because then we can understand the logic as to why this rank, rank came into picture. Then we'll get into the details of parameters, and and GP will in fact uh, talk to you about what may be the parameter that is of interest to you, and why other parameters also exist, and eventually talk about what is that we should consider, right? And uh, and it's going to be fun. I can't say fun, but I'll say it could be good. <laughs> story behind the ranking. Uh, so yeah. let's start. There are these uh, world ranking, QS world uh, university ranking, the world you know, time university ranking, global MBA ranking. GP, I don't think that we ever had uh, rankings, B school ranking uh, in India, which is in a formal scale. No, I don't think that we ever had. We had some uh, uh, private uh, sort of. Uh, yeah, we have these all these business magazines that sector coming out with the rankings of various institutes. But but I have always looked at them with a let's say with a pinch <laughs> pinch of salt beneath with a fistful of salt because मुझे कई बार लगता था that those rankings are manipulated managed because I would find institutes which should not be there in the top 10 20 30 being there but again the issue would always be as what is the criteria okay in for due respect to all those uh, people who say that all rankings are bullshit I would always say that institute के उस magazine का whether it is business world, business standard, whether it is India today, outlook, whichever, please go through the criteria first. And then what you need to do, the criteria which interests you based on that criteria, see what is the ranking. I'm sure you'll usually find it to be correct. The problem Nothing is that... people don't look at the criteria. They say, my ranking is this, this match not match, I will not see it, I will reject it. You reject without yeah. even evaluating or, or going in depth is the issue. Is, all the ranking, all, all those business magazine ranking, the school also has to participate. Like data to yes. the chain, college. Uh, if the, the college decides that I'm not going to give data to you, then it's, 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 they are not there in the ranking only. Absolutely. Okay. And, and you know, that is what has happened in the, how, this also. Uh, when hmm. I was going through the rankings, the last rank was 630 rank in the MBA Institute. I think more hmm. participated, but, but uh, not all of them gave the full data. So probably they did not get the rank. Now, there are about 5,000 odd MBA institutes in India. Degree, PGDM, whatever you want to call them. Which means by participating, I have become top 15% of the country. <laughs> okay. So, if I'm a private institute, I will definitely participate. 
बिकॉज मैं सीधा बोल सकता हूँ बाई पार्टिसिपेटिंग आई है बिकम टॉप फिफ्टीन परसेंट आई कैन राइट इन माई एडवर्टाइजमेंट आई एम आउंग द टॉप फिफ्टीन परसेंट इन इंडिया Actually correct because out of the thousand five thousand odd only seven fifty participated. So I'm on there. Okay. So so, so when you look at this uh, ranking, I, I picked up the two ranking here. In the top hundred in MBA, Ahmedabad, Bangalore, Kolkata, ISB, ISB, Bangalore, Ahmedabad, Kolkata. The next is hundred and fifty, two hundred. By the time we get to three hundred, we've already gone past GP. Some three four colleges in Peru, <laughs> okay, <Yes>. Ecuador, <laughs> but we have not. Reach uh, many of the other IMs, so mm -hmm. so it it is it 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 is it is you so for sure. Therefore, therefore, remember in twenty twenty, uh, it's uh, one of the things that we have to look at. Jijo, uh -huh. if you can just go to the previous one, ha. Huh. Now, it's maybe uh -huh. Jijo. There's something which I want the students to understand. Students who go for studies abroad, who want to do the MBA from US, Europe, Australia, wherever outside India, mm -hmm. especially. they don't look at qs ranking they look at low ft global mba rankings okay because and and that i think will be very very obvious in the next slide why is it that you will look at if you want to do a mba from usa why will you look at ft global mba 22 ranking rather than qs ranking is very very obvious when you look at one you look at the next slide yeah jijo yeah so when you look at the criteria and it's important when you look at the your the qs world ranking criteria to academic reputation is 40% employer reputation is 10% faculty student ratio is 20% citation prospect is 20% and there are 10% for international faculty ratio and the reputation academic reputation for instance is about expert opinion of over 100000 individual who belong to higher education space so there is no placements only here <laughs> salary only here it is all about <laughs> yeah the only thing which is somewhat placement oriented is employer reputation ki okay. among the employers what do they think about you but it is fairly it's a very small weightage of 10% and that also obviously subjective okay so 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 uh, uh, all i'm saying is this is a ranking or qs uh, world university ranking does not address the concerns of a student who wants to do mba abroad in the immediate future it is the, looking at something which is very very different yeah jio so basically what is happening is that at the end of the day if i have to look at the quality of a college and if you have to look at it from a us perspective or the world perspective you don't treat colleges at the universities as place based agencies we do that but they don't i'm say how do i look at what the college is so what is the reputation of the college the reputation is built over years so in in, in from that perspective if the placement is high the reputation is high so it so looking at that parameter that was kind of the world uh, us rank uh, qs rank criteria When you look at the global MBA ranking, there are hundred is divided into so many of these criteria, where uh, weighted salary, salary increase pre, pre and post, uh, that is about forty. Then value for money, career progress, career service, employed in three months. All these will add together close to about fifty, fifty one, fifty percent of weightage is there. Then comes into female faculty, female students, women on in the board, international students, mobility. So this is the diversity part. International mobility, international course experience, extra language, faculty with doctorate, environmental, social governance rank, and they have this particular rank. GP, yeah. Spano, I think that Indian Indian colleges will will get nothing here. I mean, they are yeah, not only that, Jijo, because yeah. because within India you have so much diversity that a single college in Europe or US does not have that. Okay, so 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 this is a this is a place. Where Indian colleges will suffer. Another place will suffer is I, I'm not sure, but I think salary is in is denominated in US dollar terms. Now, if you are looking Whoa. at salary in US dollar terms, that means hundred thousand dollars is a high salary, twenty five lakh is a low salary. But from a purchasing power parity point of view, if I look at living standards, a couple of days ago this survey came that that if you are looking at living standard, a salary of twenty five lakh in India is equivalent to a hundred thousand dollar in US. So, so I, think global, uh, yeah. I think the global global ranking does that. They adjust to the. They adjust, then it's big. Okay, but uh, but uh, but but. कहानी हमेशा से यही रहेगी कि यार international students नहीं है. But 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 I'll come to the other part, which I think is more important for students to understand. If I have to do an MBA, I will not look at. If I have to do an MBA this year or next year, I will not look at QS rankings. I will look at FT rankings for the simple reason. 50% of the weightage out here is to my liking mere ko mba karke 2 saal baad naukri leni hai mere ko dekhna hoga kaun si institute mujhe 2 saal mein achhi job dila sakti hai rather than kaun si institute ka research zyada acha hai what qs is doing is it is saying 10 years down the line 15 years down the line these are the institute which will still do very well what what ft is saying 
today these are the institutes which are doing very well based on a certain set of parameters what what by and large ft is doing is it is measuring the outcome and it is saying if the outcome is good the input will be good while oh, qs is saying i'll measure the input because the input will in the longer term reflect in the output uh, yeah, I think also, 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 also to an extent, GP, I think that the reputation, employer reputation would be also uh, on one of present situation in the current yeah. situation. It's probably not looking at yeah. what happens. Uh, for, but but I think you're right. So what, what are you looking at? Much, much more quantitative as a measure. This is a little more yeah. qualitative stuff. How do I look at reputation? How can, how can I put, put a reputation? Yeah. This much more sal, sal, this much quantitative stuff. And, and, and the story goes is, is that... Yeah. Yeah, so, just, just one minute. Last, last time. Uh, yeah. So, so academic reputation will get built up due to the kind of research you do, due to the kind of research paper, the PhD faculty, and and what kind of work they are doing. Uh, academic reputation is not built based on the employment opportunities. Correct. Employment opportunities happen because you have a great academic reputation. Okay. So, so that is the difference I want students to understand. So, so please remember, from your point of view, QS World University rankings are useless. Because you're looking at doing your MBA or whatever you want to do in the next two, three years. But FT Global Ranking is something which will help you tremendously. And I think that's the same thing which will come out in the Indian th Indian scenario also. Yes, uh, so even, eventually, if you look at the type of colleges that are there in both the rankings, more or less the same only. Yes. Uh, so so, so my, my, my take is, GP, my, my only point here is that uh, is that one is looking at uh, much more quantitate, uh, quanti uh, quantifiable outcomes. Other is looking at a little more quali qualified outcome. I think you're right. Academic reputation comes from uh, what kind of uh, academic inputs that got generated. Mm -hmm. Employee reputation would probably be the 10 percentage weightage, which is probably here slightly more. For student perspective, you're right. All right. And then, then, then the key was because of the fact that the IITs have boycotted these rankings. Okay, this is, I'm talking about in general, not not to MBA ranking. This they also do university ranking. I think this was back in the year 2020. I believe that they basically decided that that they continue to boycott. This is a 2021 yeah. article. They continue to boycott because of the fact that look, most of these things are based on uh, international stuff, and uh, this is doesn't make sense. International faculty ratio, student ratio, 10 percentage. What is that going on here, mm -hmm. right? And and perception, perception. So IIT said, I'll not do it. And then came the story back in 2015. Uh, why is NRI, NRI there? The idea of NRI was roots in global ranking. The union government and government run HEIs were quite upset about the standing in QS world ranking and the time higher education world ranking. During the winter session of parliament in 2015, the then uh, education minister, Smriti Rani, had attributed their poor performance in global league table to subjective ranking methodology. This is primarily because of the criteria used by this agency for ranking, which depends on a lot of perception of a select group of persons, yeah, so I had said in parliament. To counter this, India decided to emulate the Chinese example. When China encountered the same problem about two decades ago, they responded with a universal ranking system of their own. The Shanghai rankings, done by the Shanghai Geo Tong University, was born out of this in 2003. Nine Chinese universities and three Indian uh, uh, Institute of Science, IIT, Kharagpur, IIT, Delhi, went to the top 500 in the first edition of Shanghai ranking. India too decided to start their, its own ranking with parameters that will be more suitable to the Indian context. The, the, there was one big difference though. While Shanghai ranking were international in character from first year itself, the NRM only ran Indian higher education institution. The long-term plan was to make an international league table. So it is absolutely important. The starting point was to create a much more quantifiable ranking in the, in the perception of the Indian sort of context. This is how NRF sort of was born. That's a story of NRF. Yeah, yeah absolutely right. So the, the idea was to, 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 in a way, I would say, uh, look at those parameters which influence international rankings and, and push the Indian institutes to adopt them and, and, and start with the NIRF. Uh, and the NIRF started with that basic thought. Yeah. So what are the parameters of the ranking? Uh, before we start, please don't, uh, like GP already said, this, there are 5,000 colleges, about 751 participants. I think the eventually some 630 were ranked. Uh, seventh participated, which means it is the college has to submit data. If a particular college does not submit data, they will not be a part of this ranking. So, lot many people, GP has got the issue that FMS is not there. I there's an article. This is from the F dean of uh, FMS. Let me read this. Institution cite their own reason for not being able to make a mark on the NIRF. I think institutions like FMS have been clubbed with their parent university as FMS is not a standalone institute. It is a consequent component of University of Delhi. So the university has been ranked and not individual faculties and department. That is what the dean says. So yeah, there but, is... But, but, also, uh, 
but 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 uh, if I understand correctly, Jijo, the same thing would be true for IIT Delhi also. But IIT oh. Delhi management department has separately applied for it. Oh. So, so basically what happened, each of these universities, each division has to separately apply, in the sense separately give data. I think right. the data did not probably come from FMS, so FMS is not there. So FMS is not there, but if you keep shouting, mm. <laughs> it's not there only. It's not there because of any thing. It's a college, you have to submit data, I think. And, uh, and, and uh, Mr. Singla is very clearly saying, we effectively, the university participated, we have not done anything on our own. Correct. Okay. So, but there is, there is, there, I, I was going through the eligibility. It was, it is there that the, the departments within a particular university can participate. Only thing that they have to separately submit those data. Uh, yes. their data. So, so that's something that you have to be, be, be absolutely careful. So, if you don't find your college there, don't blame NIRF. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, people have to ask. Talk, talk to your college deans and directors. <laughs> uh, so, SIDNAM is not there. But SIDNAM is not there, but because SIDNAM did not submit. <laughs> I think even Bajaj is not there, na, Chijo? Bajaj is not there. I think probably that is the same issue. The university, Mumbai University, chala gaya hoga wo. Yeah. Uh, Mumbai and University ne dal diya, Delhi University ne dal diya, FMS and Bajaj ne kaha, hamei kyo kaam karna bekaal ka? <laughs> Dala nahi, it's lini hai. Yeah. <laughs> so, it's not, don't feel bad. <laughs> so, iska parameter to ye hai. Isko thoda detail mein baat kerte hai. Teaching and learning resources, research and professional practice, outreach and inclusivity, graduate outcome perception, and everybody focuses, of course, from a student point of view, it is graduate outcome. Let me actually, before I uh, ask GP, let me actually uh, make a case as to why this makes a lot of sense from a very different angle. So when you look at any higher education institute in this country or anywhere, these institutions should be thought leaders. They are not just creating graduates, right? They also have to, so if you look at management, look at, India. So for example, India as a country is huge, with so much of diversity, so much of learning. If an institution, the people in a particular institute, if they don't work closely with the industry and create a, the stuff or content or research work for the industry, any research that any institute does, they have to do, uh, do in concurrence with the industry. And if they do that particular research, what will then happen if, if they have, this cannot happen overnight. This research and professional part, practice has to be a part of the DNA of the particular college. And if college does it, obviously the quality of teaching in, include because the teachers have to create those content, their, their alignment with the industry improves, their perception increases, and then overall the institution can, can create stuff. Today, GP, I think that I studied Kotler. I think we studied Kotler. Uh, marketing, four P's. I don't know. Now there are seven P's, four C's. I have heard so many things. Even today, what is that? I think we are in India. Why, why are we relying on content from outside this country? I think that Indian uh, universities, colleges, the, the, the cutting edge B school has to create content for us. And uh, which is why it, it from 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 a, from a uh, perspective of look at look at education in this country. If you look at from the overall perspective, it makes absolute sense. You're looking at your research and professional practice, even though it is a management college, teaching and learning resources, and and, and then say that graduate outcome is fine. Right? You place kids, but they are more interested in this. So that is where the this ranking is coming from. Unfortunately, we are the kind of from a student point of view. I think that why should I really bother about research or any or you teach whatever you want to teach. Just give me better salary after the two years. Right. So if we, <laughs> I think we can uh, dig a little deep, deeper uh, on this. Yeah, if you just go back to the previous slide, just I want to add a couple of things to that. Mm. Now, first of all, if I go, uh, as you said rightly, not only did we study Kotler, I'm sure like me, you also had hardly any Indian case studies. Almost Correct. all the case studies that we did in the two years of MBA were, 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 were international case studies, they were with, which were European, which were American, which were Australian, and maybe a couple of case studies of Indian companies. So, which means we were studying or understanding the American and the European scenario rather than understanding the Indian scenario, which is where we were supposed to be working. We would have worked after MBA. Okay. Secondly, if you are into research, your teaching and learning resources will improve. Because you will be much more relevant, you will be you will be contextually relevant. So research is is one of the biggest lacuna in 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 India in the in among, among all the higher education institutes. Second thing which you also need to look at, which is connected to this, is the professional practice part. At my time in I am Bangalore, and I think it is still almost the same. Very few professors were doing consulting for the private sector. True. And that is where you will do the search. That is where you will build the credibility of the institute. That is where the perception of the institute will improve. That is again where learning resources will improve. 
So research and professional practice with 30% weightage, I don't think it is absolutely incorrect. It is absolutely right. In fact, I would not be surprised if it is 30 could become 35 or even 40. Because this is the heart of any higher education institute. This is where new ideas come. This is where new thought processes come. And this is where you say, as you said rightly, an institute will become a change maker rather than just a teaching shop. Sorry to yeah. say, but almost all the higher education institutes in India are teaching shops. They People come in, spend two years, get a placement, go away. So if not a teaching shop, they are placement agencies. And, and you rightly said, in USA, in America, in, in uh, let's say Europe, in Australia, the, it is not the institute's responsibility to get you placed. There will be career fairs. You go, you participate, you get a job. It is not the institute which is supposed to do it. Here we measure the institute. Summer placement, kitna karwaya usne. Ya usko nahi karana, tumhe lena hai. Okay, so that is what, that is one basic uh, approach change which is required within us also. Haan, toh, balab, it's, it's like wo placement, kabhi, kabhi sosta hoon, GP, right? Hmm. Main college mein betta hoon. Okay, yeah. main bol ra, Google tu aa. <laughs> Main toh hilne wala nahi ho. <laughs> Main hilne wala. Tu aa. I think that this whole idea about placement day one day two oh this company does not come to the campus you know what that even means this company does not come to the campus means <laughs> I'm entitled. because i'm in the institute it is my right that, that you should come here and and just to give you an example and this is my my son's example he did his engineering from usa after hmm. he completed he had to look for a job for himself then he had to work and and then he's gone into phd and there he's saying after and i still have to hunt for consulting projects I'm doing a research and, and in addition to that, I have to hunt for consulting projects and my profs hunt for consulting projects, I have to assess them. So the whole approach is that an institute has to work in conjunction with the industry. You are not an entitled lot where you sit in one place and people will come and beg you to join them. Uh, so, so imagine if the, this is given 80 percentage weightage, you know what will Indian institutes become? Okay, what will they become? They just want to give placement. Okay, okay. placement just, just talk with them. Push karna hai. Malab, the institute has to, malab, it's like faculty members. How many faculty members actually do consulting work? How many case studies are being uh, built and created by the institution? How many faculty members have real life sort of work? And those things are important. Therefore, GP, if any college is there in the ranking in the top 50 because of this, I think some credit has to go to the university, whether you like it or not. No, I mean, not they may not, video, uh, not only uh, that. These are the inputs. Item one, teaching, learning, services, research, outreach, inclusivity are the inputs. Uh, graduate outcomes and perception are the outcomes. Okay. So, 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 unfortunately, we are as a student. I am looking at an outcome. But if the institute does not focus on the input, which is items one, two, and three, the outcome is not going to be good. The focus always has to be on one, two, three, and and they, and hence the outcome will be uh, up to your liking. Is a GP as to why this is uh, I think I think pre-COVID time mein, uh, yeah. we as an organization, Karyolan organization, we were working closely with many of the universities uh, yeah. to uh, help them create these uh, kind of research work. And some yeah. of these colleges are and, and they started doing this uh, dot many stuff happened because of this uh, ranking. Yeah, no? Hello, GP? Huh? Absolutely, absolutely. Many institutes have started working on this aspect because they say if I have to go up the ladder, I have to create a reputation. Yes, I will participate because participate in the top 15 percent. But to but but it is not enough to be 750. I want to next year go to 600, 500, 400. Then I'll have to actually start doing this work. Okay. So you are right. Oh, so we have been working with universities and institutes and helping them uh, in in their research inside the college research through the university faculty staff as well as getting the students to do research ah, it was it was a great thing and so you've got a faculty working with students and creating uh, research it was amazing learning for the kids and their 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 that experience would be absolutely good okay. and they please understand all the citation uh, these journals have to be this they will not consider any paid journal i think it's called a, a scopus no i think one of yeah, those that's right so, uh, the, the journal has to be of reputation. Okay. Anyways, so here I think one can obviously have criticism in terms of the weightage, criticism of how this is done. But I think that the I think that the questioning objective will be stupidity. I think that I think what what is more important maybe this uh, weightage has to come down. Maybe what has to be considered here has to change. But uh, from a from a, it is absolutely important for to understand where this ranking is coming from to appreciate what the ranking is trying to do. And GPA, 
yeah. over to you for this slide <laughs> yeah jijo jijo if i look at from a in some government or from an institute perspective uh, items 1 2 and 4 okay these constitute about 6 70% of the weightage this is this is what i would call the the input the inputs are giving you 60% of the weightage and the output is being measured in terms of has a weightage of 40% that what it looks like to begin with okay item 3 and 5 together is 40% weightage but 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 and 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 from a nif ranking point of view i think it's perfectly fine though i think couple of things they could change for example c a and c b if you look at c a and c b combined matrix of placement and higher studies this is a fact this is a, this is a parameter in which all institutes will get almost 100% marks what what does it say what percentage of your students have been placed and what percentage of your students have been uh, have have gone for higher studies between the two it is going to be almost 100% if the two of them are 90% you get 90% of 40 possibly 36 marks but but i can assure you almost all institutes will gain this and get almost if not 40 at least 38 39 marks in this one so which is why to me this is not a good parameter to have because it can be game similarly metric for university examination says what percentage of the students uh, were able to complete the program in the stipulated time period so pass percentage this again can be gamed so to me these are not very very uh, these are factors which could be changed however when i am looking at from a student point of view a student is interested only in let's say 3c and 5a 5 there is only one from a student point of view wants to who's preparing for mba entrance exams and wants to join an mba institute next year for him or her it is only 3c and 5a which are important what is 3c median salary it has got a 40% weight out of 20% which means about 8% weightage 40 marks okay out of 500 so 8% weightage similarly peer when you look at the uh, fifth item perception ranking weight of 10% it is peer perception and, uh, and uh, employees and peer academic peer so industry possibly uh, and i don't know how they have done this thing but i'm just for sake of simplicity assuming it is likely to be 50% employees and 50% academics now as an as a person who wants to do mba i'm only interested in what the employer what the industry thinks about the institute if if a particular institute head of hod does not think highly about another institute it does not matter to me but if a if a tcs if a google if a, if a, if a hll they they don't think good of a institute and don't visit that institute then i have a problem so as a student i would be worried only about about five with about perception of the employers so 5% weightage there so from a 50% student, of 10% that is 5% percent ha huh? yeah huh? that's right 5% 50% of 10% so from a student's perspective out of the 100 marks on the basis of which you are getting a, a this thing only 13 marks are relevant for me or 13% weightage is important for me while the ranking will be on 100% so if you are interested in 13% you need to look at the ranking based on that 13% unfortunately that's not available unfortunately that's not available though we have come close to it by by doing some kind of uh, let's say data analysis but 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 but, but ha huh. जुगाड़ तो यहाँ भी आ गया ना माला ठीक है हाँ बट वो थर्टीन परसेंट वेट के पे तुम हंड्रेड परसेंट को गाली मत दो तुम्हारा इंटरेस्ट थर्टीन परसेंट है तुम थर्टीन परसेंट देखो ना ना गवर्नमेंट ऑफ इंडिया का ना क्यूएस का ना ना इंस्टीट्यूट का इंटरेस्ट उस थर्टीन परसेंट में है दे आर इंटरेस्ट इन द फुल हंड्रेड परसेंट सो प्लीज डोंट अननेसेसरी क्रिप विदाउट अंडरस्टैंडिंग वॉट दिस होल थिंग इज अबाउट क्या जी जो बराबर स्टफ लाइक combined metrics of publication but institute publication to banana chahiye na matlab they have to create something no content quality absolutely. of the publications there should be no project professional practice executive develop program this is absolutely important for institute because institute job is not just about making for institute point of view ab ab ye apne ko chinta nahi hai isme we don't care but institute has to care students thing into including doctoral students if if, if institute don't create doctoral students where are the future researchers right <laughs> Uh, for faculty student ratio with permanent faculty combined faculty with phd i think pay, 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 uh, of course it is assuming that faculty with phd would be better <laughs> than faculty without phd we yeah, cannot again, the that. faculty with phd will be able to get into research possibly 
Correct, correct. Uh. Possibly because of the research orientation, because only if you are willing to go towards research, will you be able to create new kind of, uh, uh, let's say, study material, teaching resources. And as you rightly said, only then will you become a change maker or, and, and be able to influence the future. Yeah. Look I at mean, this, I mean, almost almost all the theories which he studied, none of them uh, was, was I can't remember any anything which was Indian. Even it, the it, Indian it, it, Professor C.K. Talar, bottom uh, of the pyramid, but C.K. Talar did not teach in India. He was a US prof. Correct. So everything was happening there. Bottom of the pyramid was such a simple theory which anyone in India could have thought of. But interest nahi tha na. Ham to khali garbage in garbage out kar the, which means how. Do saal bitao, placement law or chale jau. Chale that jau. is what was happening and which is where we lost out. And I think this is a step in the right direction. So from a student point of view, you have to see this. You have to see what GP is saying. You have to see what you have to see. Public from other states sit there. Where are you from? From Delhi. Where are you from? What do you have to see? I think you have to see what you have to see. But it's important diversity. I'm, I'm, I'm sure that Jamalalal Manjad will get zero. Right, GP? Hmm? Haan, zero to nahi, but it will be very close to zero because uh, regional diversity 85% seats for Maharashtra okay. and within Maharashtra I think 60% seats are from Bombay. I think it is 60, 15, 15. I could be wrong there. 60 for Bombay, 15 for rest of Maharashtra, 15 for rest of India. Okay, correct, correct, correct. <laughs> so, so, so and then you look at percentage of different diversity. Institutes like uh, IITs which have a criteria that I want engineers will suffer here. That does yeah, not mean that women cannot be engineers. But GP just... <laughs> Sorry? Uh, but I was saying that... Uh, you are right. I think there are certain colleges which may suffer. Economically, socially challenged students. I think that some of these things, for example, these are facilities for physically challenged students, which is actually important. Somebody has to care. I think that you give 20 marks, at least 10 and, people will think. And, and Jijo, we will do all the games. Facilities for physically challenged students, they will be into the infrastructure. They will create. They will create. So, so important thing is that today I have done it. I hope three years down the line, this is not an important parameter because by then I will presume everyone would be getting 20 out of 20 in this criteria. I have to say that 20 marks in this chapter, at least some college will do something for these kids. No? Absolutely. No uh, doubt about it. It is important I, to I, begin I, with. Because, Jijo, if I look at many of the institutes, forget about other institutes, I'll talk about I am Bangalore. At mm -hmm. my time, it was not possible for the physically challenged student to, to, to go everywhere. It was not possible. That thought was not there. Now, when institutes are creating the infrastructure, they have in mind and which thing which is the right thing to do. So, so to begin with, it should be there. Hopefully, in three years, five years, I don't know what time scale we are talking about. In three to five years, I would presume this would not be a relevant factor. And all institutes would have taken care of the infrastructure part. And when I say facility, it is not the infrastructure and physical infrastructure. It could Correct. be, do you have the relevant software for a visually impaired student? Okay. Do you have the relevant, uh, let's say, other technologies which they can use to study? Okay. So, so to me, all those things would be a part of this. But I think this is something which, should, which institutes will be able to pick up fast. Because all that needs is some amount of investment of money. And, and uh, which is why I said three to five years down the line, this will become the norm. And then possibly the ranking will change this criteria a little and go into some other aspect. Uh, so given this uh, criteria, it is, uh, it is, uh, so uh, this we actually uh, mentioned. So I'll just mm. give this. Uh, if I look at, I'm, I'm just, I, I think I'll just, uh, I'll highlight this. If I, I'm, yeah. I'm comparing two colleges here, in, Indian sort of Delhi and SPGN, uh, uh, SPGN Institute of Management, SPJMR in Bombay. Gito, Gito, as far as, Gito, before we go on to this, as far as the uh, NAF rank is concerned, the IIT Delhi ranking is 5 and SPGN is uh, 21, if, uh, if I'm correct. Uh, correct, 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 correct. Right. So, right. Uh, so, 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 rank 5 is rank 21. Rank 5 rank 21. And uh, this these greens are uh, the research stuff. Okay. And yeah. uh, this this uh, this this yeah. is... Huh. TLR is uh, teaching and learning resources, RP is research. And this will be the, uh, so which is okay. yeah, yeah, no? graduate outcomes. GO okay. is graduate outcomes. OI is inclusivity. Okay, this is the inclusivity. This is inclusivity. And this is perception. And the orange one is the perception. And the first one is uh, this teaching and learning resources. Teaching, uh, teaching and learning. Now, if you clearly look at uh, these two things and, and uh, we can visually look at it. 
okay you see that uh, between these uh, colleges the difference was uh, the uh, the research where the uh, rating is like 3.12 out of 40 11.14 out of 40 and here is like uh, if if you look at this uh, research I'm, i'm looking at 31 out of 40 39.48 out of 40 please understand ye graph ajeeb hai because maximum idhar hi hai Okay, sort of. These two are out of forty, and this out of twenty. And this graph is like slightly misleading. This one is out of twenty. Out of twenty is six point five six. So, incidentally, this is called SPGN Management and Research GP. Remember this? Research missing it. Kali name me hai. So, ye 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 tha. I mean, for example, if I look at this website, jale chala tha sponsor research consultancy. I mean, ye log na this the the department manager in Delhi. They have worked with what? i can see uh, air force germany i can see international this one and that they have got consulting project with uh, uh, many of these consulting project they have done and they have got sponsored project they have done i'm sure that every college does it is not like just uh, uh, iit delhi will does it is not that spgn does not do it i'm i'm basically guessing gp spgn uh, iit delhi does much more than this other is of course perception of iit delhi ha gp is IIT Delhi, or I would not only IIT Delhi. I'll say all the older IITs will have a huge advantage over most of the private institutes. Now, now, right. especially when you look at the IITs, there is a culture of research to some extent. It may not be up to the mark, uh, up to the international standard, but still, there's some culture of research, and that culture of research rubs off onto the other departments also. So, which is why IIT Delhi is very high on the research. I'm sure it is going to be high for Bombay also, for Kharagpur also, and the other older IITs also. May not be that high for the new IITs. Okay, and and what you are about to say, I think this is search, and look at the perception. I have not done this study, but my guess is where the research is high, the perception will usually also be high, because right. that is where you are directly interfacing with the industry, and that is right. where you are coordinating with the other colleges, other departments, and hence imp- uh, uh, upping your research, upping your perception index. And also, I think IIT Delhi will will generally have a perception. अच्छा ही होगा ना उसका जो हाँ IIT Delhi का perception तो ऊपर जाएगा ही जाएगा and management department को उसका जबाब effect मिल गया है हाँ but but that does not take away the fact that management department of IIT Delhi has among the highest salary and it is among the best ROI institutes if I can use that word. I don't like right. using ROI but in terms of fee low fee and almost an average salary of eighteen to twenty lakhs. Okay and if you look at the outcomes. I'm hmm. uh, uh, yeah graduate outcome ji jo. If you look uh, at uh, the mean salary ka weightage is thirty four point two six. This guy is thirty nine point two zero. So obviously salary wise, ah, mean salary of course I am there. So if I am a student, who if I am a student, I will rank all students on the median salary. Unfortunately, your data shayad pura banane mein bahut mehnat lagegi. But I will rank institutes on the basis of median salary because if I want to do next year MBA, then I will decide on the median salary on the basis of median salary. Median salary and fees on the basis of median salary. Yeah. Yeah, basically, well, even if I say graduate outcome on the basis of median salary, because this is like twenty out of twenty, everybody passed. No, no, man. These are these are two factors which are going to be very high, and I'll I can assure you, almost all private institutes will get forty out of forty in these two parameters. Or hundred percent. अहमदाबाद Ahmedabad, SPJN, Bangalore, Calcutta, Excelare, MDA, Gurugram, Lucknow, Niti, Kohli Court, SIBM, Indore, Shillong, NMIMS, XM, Bhubaneswar, Karakpur, Raipur, Ranchi, I am, I am Ranchi, IIT Delhi, four, and then you see uh, some of the college being here. Hmm? Now, now just to be clear, when we are looking hmm. at graduate outcomes, we are looking at not median salary only. We are looking no, at correct. three parameters. Hmm. We are looking at uh, three out of three parameters. Out of which median salary is only forty percent, sixty percent is not. So this is on the basis of hundred percent of graduate outcome. What you are interested in is only sixty percent. So while this gives you some kind of an idea, this does not give you exactly what you need. 
And one of the things that I'm also guessing is that if the college has got more number of work experience candidate, yes. uh, the the industry when the placement comes in, let's say, especially with respect to IT, yes. they they value those three years and get a slightly higher salary than others. So 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 that and also that's where SPGen will gain, na? SPGen is I would guess number two in this criteria also because of, because uh, it and the average work experience there I think is close to two and a half or three years. So. Mm-hmm. So, so obviously that means uh, on an average the salary should be, if we compare with the other institute, will be about ten percent higher in any case. So and, I'm not next... saying SPG is not a good institute; it's a terrific institute. It is in my ah. list of top ten, twelve institutes. I recommend this strongly. Ah, but, exam, exam. I, ah. but it is not the number two rank in my my understanding. Correct. Ah. So when the, each ranking, where somebody is going to feel bad, <laughs> Bangalore niche ho gaya. So, Bangalore is not going to be criteria. Hai. Thik, you may disagree with the criteria, then please talk to the government of India, get the criteria changed. All <laughs> Kaya, everywhere, <laughs> Bangalore is not going to be a criteria. I don't know what I'm saying. I don't know what I'm saying. I don't know what I'm saying. I am Raipur, I am Rachi, I am Delhi. I don't know what I'm saying. 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 But there's a criteria. If you disagree with the criteria, you need to lobby with the government and get the criteria changed. But you cannot say that four schools are here. But yeah, criteria is not going to be able to join the ranking. You can only do this rating. You can't do this. 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 Perception is Bangalore, Ahmedabad, Calcutta, Lucknow, Cold Court, uh, IIM, Trichy, IIT Delhi, Indore, uh, IIT Madras, XLRI, Anna University. Came. What is interesting is that 100 marks, 98 marks, 94 marks, it's like one deep dive only. Yeah. <laughs> and and, so, and Christ, Christ Chandigarh University is everything. Yeah. So, so you can again clip about that it's not right, there should be something else, it should be very good thing, but it's not right, because it was something else, and it was coming from that criteria. Ke hai. Hmm. You don't like the criteria, you cannot clip about it. Now, if I add G or RAG or P, G or plus P, I'll add it. Okay. Yes, I think you have to understand the students ko ki why is this important. Now, why, hmm. we, why did we say ki let us look at the G or plus P or PR scores? Geo is graduate outcome placement median, jo kuch bhi the median salary dikhra hai, isi ke andar dikhra hai. Why is perception important? Because the perception of institute is positive. The chances of the employers or the industry or the top companies visiting the campus goes up. So we said, if I have to look at something out of this NIF ranking, mere ko kya relevant hai? Mere ko geo relevant hai, perception ranking hai. So dono ke score pe ranking hamne bana diya out hake. Yeah, Jijo. Now I think this is something which most of the students will be reasonably okay with. I'm they will I'm not be. Saying, but yeah, people will say that ye kaise, ye kaise. Haan, nahin, wo hamesha rahega yaar. Wo rahega. But but ye pindi thoda sa thik thak dikta hai. So, malab, I think I think eventually it all matters. Eventually you want to create a ranking that you want, <laughs> right? We can. <laughs> uh, malab, I think I think one of the people, a uh, faculty, ne bola tha GP. Okay, uh, we can make the number say what do we want the number to say. Absolutely. Okay. Uh, Ab isko karke. Yo, <laughs> you've done engineering, na? Practical kiya tha na science me, college me, bhi school me bhi. We would first identify what is the result required, then you work backwards. Okay. <laughs> So basically, what should we consider? At this point in time, I think I think the way in which NIR of ranking is there, it has got a purpose. Okay, let the let the college create uh, the paper, let the faculty members work, case banana de, publication karne de unko. To ensure that the rank usko gali mat dete. Apun kya karenge? We will go to GP ka fanda ka ranking. Uh-huh. GP. Oh, ye kar. Yes. If you look at the link at the bottom, gpkafunda.in, please go to the description. This is keeping in mind what you need. NRF is not meant for you. It is meant for completely different audience. You will see it, you will be happy, you will be happy. Actually, I am surprised. Yesterday, hmm. I got a call from a student who's studying in STMHRD uh, hmm. and, and saying, I want to do marketing. I've seen NIF ranking. I have an option of joining IIT Roki. I've just got a call from there. Should I shift to IIT Roki? It is highest. I said, what's wrong? 
your NIF ka purpose alag hai. Don't let NIF decide which MB and should you join this year or next year or the year after that. You have to say which is the institute which is going to give me good placements, better opportunities. Which, which, and from a marketing yeah. perspective, SCMHRD will, is definitely better than IIT Roorkee, even though in rankings probably SCMHRD is lower. Okay, so we'll not get into those things. Uh, I want you to focus on this part, Jijo. Yeah, yeah, Jijo. Uh, my preference of the institute is uh, primarily by placements. Okay, hmm. uh, and because uh, placement refer to not only average, median salary, but also include the difficult to quantify factors like reputation, quality of opportunity, the kind of company that visit the institute. Okay. Second, with the most of the good institute, uh, the cost of doing an MBA is a factor that cannot be ignored. Malab, GP ne sasta tikao must tere liye banaya. Maybe sasta sundar tikao institute zada acha hai. Must. Yeah, so, so, I think. So, as a student, uh, what are you looking for? Tumko your placement acha hona chahiye, paisa zada khaish nahi hona chahiye. Ye usi basis pe hai. Tumko NRS nahi dekhna hai. That is not meant for you. This has been designed keeping in mind your requirements. So please look at this. And I can assure you, most of you, yes, I am sure there will be many students who say, nah, isme ye problem hai. Hai. because this is my perception, my data, based on the people I have talked to, and, and this is not a scientific ranking. This is based on perception, this is based on talking to students, some data collected, placement data, etc. Many things have been looked at, but end of the day, it is a subjective assessment of a group of people like GP, Jijo, Shifku, Arks, Ravi Teja, and so on and so forth. We have collected a lot of data, but still a perception. And this Haan, is what we can possibly give you some idea Haan. of what you are looking for. Cluster wise, kya hai? Cluster mein stuff A B one A one B one C kya hai? I think that every single cluster mein GP ki uh, bine video dala hai. Cluster two kya hai? Cliter three kya hai? Malab, this is ye okay. tumhare liye. So, so, tum, so simple rule ye hai. Cluster one should be preferred over cluster two. Okay. Within cluster one, one A should be preferred over one B. One B should be preferred over one C. Hmm. Within one, we go to anyone which you want to, does not matter. Yeah. That is the basic theme which we have talked. Okay, so if it is the same cluster plus sub cluster, any sub cluster you within that cluster is by and large going to be your decision. So if you go to say, Jesus, let's go to let's say cluster three, one, two, mein to zada debate nahi hota hai. three, okay. hmm. Haan. Hmm. now look at this three. Now, should you go to SMHRD or I am Raipur or I am Kashipur? Your call based on other factors. So if you say something like uh, location of Pune is something which I think would be very, very important for me because I'm looking at the greater industry, then, then obviously SMHRD. If you say the IM name is much more important, I want to go more towards operations and consulting, etc., then maybe IM Raipur would be a better option. So based on the other parameters, then you'll have to choose. If you are indifferent to, uh, to between uh, these 32, rank 30, the serial number 32, 30, 34, 35, Decide is all I would say. Okay. So, you session conclusion. So, you 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 this is trying to do something which is very, very different. It's trying to push Indian Institute to come on top in the world rankings. Ah. And it is not going to be in line with you what you need to do today. It is keeping in mind five years, 10 years, 15 years hence, what is the shape of things going to be. Okay. Hmm. Imagine if all the colleges works on this particular engine and create those content. Imagine what is going to happen, right? So let the NRF do what the NRF wants to do. It will keep on doing its correction and stuff. Upon will uh, look at Sasta Tikao, GP Ka Funda. <laughs> The nice, uh, simple logic, and that's what we're going to do. Chalo. Yeah. Okay. Chalo. That's it. Thank you. All the best.